Hi everyone, I had a user request just to go through how I enter coordinates in the F16 and so put together a quick video on that. So let's jump in. The first thing you're going to need to do is find the coordinates you want to fly to. So we go to our F10 map. So let's see here, I want to fly to Ryak. The easiest way to do this is actually to hold left alt and click and it pops up this little window. I wasn't aware of this, so thank you to the commenter who told me about this. Now what this gives you is a series of coordinates, and nicely if you go back into the uh, F1 view, this stays up. Now in order to enter this, what we're going to need to do is enter the latitude, longitude, decimal, minutes format. The fourth one down here is the one that the F16 particularly uses. So with that up, we then click on STPT, or button 4, on our upfront controller to enter the steer point data. So if we don't have any steer points currently selected, uh, then this will default to 1 and will be blank. In this particular free flight, I have a whole load of steer points currently entered. So let's say I want to edit one. Let's go down and say let's edit steer point 2. So I push 2. See that being filled in. Press enter. That is now set for waypoint 2. Now to actually enter the coordinates for waypoint 2, I go down on the rocker twice. And then I get to this latitude line highlighted. And what I want to do is enter the exact value that I've got in the uh, little box. Now, I do need to put in north to begin with. So to do that on our UFC, we push the uh, 2 button that has north on it. And then I enter the rest of the coordinates. Now, you can do this by clicking on the panel here. So in this case, I'll be looking at the top left while clicking on the panel. So I've got 3, 3, 5, 1, 0, 4, 7. And then once that's uh, all correct, you push Enter. If it's succeeded, it will enter it and the new values will enter. If something's gone wrong, it will flash that you've made some kind of mistake. Once we've done that, we've got to enter the next set of coordinates. Now for this one, what you want to do is start off with E, and then importantly, as you can see here, the format is E and then an explicit zero. The format in the top left does not give you that zero, but you do need to put that in. So entering the longitude point, first off we push E. Then what I want to do to enter the coordinates, instead of using the keypad this time, I'm going to use my keyboard. The default control binding to do this is just to hold left control and then type the numbers on the numpad. And so hold left control. Remember, I need to put in zero first on the longitude here. And then I can type in exactly what appears in the uh, little uh, data pop out. So 35592777. Entered that correctly, then when I push enter, it will enter. If something goes wrong, if you've forgotten to put the zero at the beginning, it will start flashing and you'll have to repeat the process. And then finally, what we can do is enter the elevation. Uh, this nice little pop-up window here gives you the elevation in meters and feet. And so the F16 here takes its meter elevations in feet. So once again, I can do the same thing, hold left uh, control and then 2976. And then enter once more. Now that's put in the new coordinates. As you may have seen there, when I did that, this uh, selected waypoint has moved. Waypoint 2 is now sat over Ryak. Bit hard to see in the sun, but there it is over there. That is where Ryak is, so I can now fly to that and use that as a waypoint from here on out. Have any questions about this, please let me know down below, and otherwise, I hope to catch you in the next video. Till then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.